Welcome to another daily recap for Tuesday, October 31st, 2023. You are looking at a one minute chart of the SPY or spiders, which tracks the S&P 500 index. Everything between these two vertical dotted lines is Tuesday's activity in the spiders. And the horizontal line is one of the six levels that were calculated before the market opened this morning. This was the only level hit and therefore the only trade activated today. And these daily levels are the basis for activating trades in the E-mini futures or ES. We'll take a look at how today's level at 4.17.65 played out. It was straightforward and simple. The spiders came up into 4.17.65 at around 1.43 p.m. and a short trade was triggered in the ES. This first pullback wasn't enough to reach the profit target of a four point base hit in the ES and they hung out above the entry point out of the money for about 20-25 minutes but they never touched the threshold above price that would start to indicate that this trade would be a fumble let alone close candles of significance above that threshold. So per the original intent of the trade, the spiders came back down into the profit zone and produced a solid base hit about by 2.30 p.m. And that was it for the day. So let's take a look at the tracking log and see how today's trade translated into profits. Here are all six levels that were calculated before the market opened. And the only one that hit was the 4.17.65 that we just covered. So one base hit in the bag for four points and not spectacular, but a base hit is a base hit. They add up over time. And here are your profit potentials based on the number of ES contracts traded. I hope you found this interest, information interesting and helpful. Have a great day.